in this video we have one motor starter and if you want to start and stop your motor starter with push button that means when you press the start push button your motor starter should run and if you want to stop your motor starter with the stop push button so you can done but if you want to start your motor starter with push button and also if you want to stop your motor starter with proximity sensor that means when sensor will operate your motor starter should stop that means if you want to start your motor starter with push button and want to stop your motor starter with proximity sensor so you can done this connection very easily so let's start video and first understand which component is required for this control wiring so we connect one motor starter in which we connect one contactor and one overload relay one stop push button one start push button okay and we connect one proximity sensor which is pnp type sensor okay and it will operate on 6 volt to 36 volt dc sensor okay you can see here our sensor is pnp type sensor which operate on 6 volt to 36 volt dc supply okay and we connect one 24 volt dc relay when sensor will operate so by sensor this relay will operate so we connect one 24 volt dc relay which is 8 pin glass relay okay and we connect one smps for proximity sensor input power supply okay so before we start control wiring first we'll learn a basic concept of contactor so this contactor is operated on 220 volt ac supply so you need to connect a phase and neutral in A1 and A2 terminal. If you want to connect a phase in A1 terminal and neutral on other side A2 terminal, so you can connect easily. But if you want to connect a phase and neutral on one side, so you can connect. This is contactor power terminals and this contactors control terminals A0 terminal. You can see here and also we have one NC terminals in this contactor. So in this contactor we have one NO and one NC auxiliary contacts. Okay. And this is glass relay which is 8 pin glass relay so 2 and 7 is glass relay coil in which we will connect 24 volt DC supply 1 and 8 number point is common point in this relay we have two common point 1 and 4 number point is NC point and 1 and 3 number point is NO point 8 and 6 number point is NC point 8 and 5 number point is NO point okay so let's start first control wiring so this is two pole control mcb this is contactor and this is 8 pin glass relay okay and we connect one smps okay which provide 24 volt dc supply for sensor okay so we connect one p and p type sensor first learn line control wiring so line will connect first in overload relay nc point so that if our motor takes large current so overload relay nc trip and our motor will save and overload relay nc output connect in nc stop push button and nc push button output connect in ano start push button when you press ano push button your contactor will operate manually okay when you push press push button your contactor will operate and we will connect neutral directly you can see here so neutral connects directly and face connects with ano push button so we connect neutral first directly in contactor a to terminal so we connect uh, you can see here neutral directly and uh, phase wiring as we done in diagram so we connect the same first uh, phase comes in overload delay 95 number nc point and nc output connect in stop push button nc element you can see here and nc output connect in start push button a no element input terminal so nc output we connect one connector here and connect this connector to start push button no element input terminal as we done in drawing okay when you press start push button so contactor will operate so we connect this connector in contactor a1 terminal so face comes with push button and neutral comes directly okay now for holding supply we connect one connector from contactor coil to contactor a no input terminal okay now learn how to provide holding supply to hold the motor starter okay it's most important so first we will provide smps 220 volt ac supply so first we connect smps input terminal phase our line and neutral connects okay so smps input connection is done 
now smp is output so positive connects in sensor red wire in sensor red wire positive wire and connect a zero volt or negative supply in sensor blue wire okay so sensor input connection is now done when sensor will operate so sensor output is black wire okay so sensor will operate so supply comes here and two and seven is relay coil so we connect this output to relay two number point okay when sensor will operate the sensor output connects in this relay and relay will operate okay and connects zero volt directly in this seven number point okay so when sensor will operate so relay will operate okay it's a very simple connection first done this practically control wiring okay so first of all holding supply as we done we need to connect to one connector from contactor a one terminal to n o terminal input terminal okay as we done in drawing okay so we connect one connector from a one terminal and connects this connector to contactor and o input terminal okay now for proximity sensor input power supply we need to connect one glass relay which operate when sensor will operate so this relay will operate and for input power supply we connect one smps first uh, we connect phase a neutral to 20 volt ac supply in this smps so we connect uh, this connector you can see here in this mcb and mcb output connect in this smps okay so we connect uh, phase and neutral in this SMPS input power supply which is very simple as we done in drawing okay so you can see here SMPS input power supply is now done and sensor as we know red wire is sensor input positive wire okay so red wire in which we need to provide supply 24 volt DC positive wire and blue wire blue wire is for negative power supply at zero volt supply and black wire is sensor output terminal you can see here so first uh, we connect the sensor positive and negative input power supply with this smps so we connect uh, you can see here in this smps v plus and v minus so red wire which is sensor input terminal so in positive and blue wire in smps negative so sensor input connection is now done when sensor will operate so input power supply comes in this black wire okay so we connect this black wire in this relay okay you can see here when sensor will operate so this 24 volt dc supply comes in this black wire you can see here brown wire for positive wire blue wire for negative and black wire is sensor output terminal so when proximity sensor will operate so we connect this supply you can see here in this relay we have two number point one number point seven number point and eight number point as we see in drawing okay so when sensor will operate so this black wire supply comes okay so connects this black wire in relay two number point so when sensor will operate so positive supply comes in this relay with sensor and we connect a negative supply okay so connects negative in this smps directly and connect relay seven number point okay so now when sensor will operate so relay will operate basic conjunction is now done now learn how to provide a holding supply and will cut this sensor so for holding supply as we always take holding supply from nc output terminal or no input terminal okay so we connect one connector from nc output terminal and connect this connector relay common point which is eight number point you can also use one number any common point okay so we use eight number common point and six number point is nc point when relay is in a stop condition so supply will pass and connects this holding supply to contactor in o terminal output terminal okay when contactor will operate so you know makes nc and our contactor will hold okay and when relay will stop so this supply will pass as sensor operate so relay operate so relay operate so 8 and 6 which is nc so it will make when relay operates so no and this holding supply will cut it's a very basic concept okay now connection as we done in drawing let's see how we done practically 
so for holding supply we can take holding supply from nc output terminal so you can take supply from nc output or ano input terminal okay so we will connect a holding supply in ano input terminal okay so we connect holding supply in ano input terminal and connect this supply in relay 8 number point which is common point okay you can use any common and nc point relay okay and when relay is in a stop condition so 8 supply pass through 6 number point and connects this holding supply through relay n6 number point and connects in contactor in o terminal okay so now our control wiring is now done now let's see how it works so control mcb is now on when you start push button press motor starter will operate and when sensor will operate so starter will stop it's a very basic concept okay if you want to start your motor starter with this push button so you can done and if you want to stop with this proximity sensor so you can done very easily hope you clear the concept how to start and stop your motor starter with push button and want to start with push button and stop with sensor so you can done very easily hope you clear the concept if you like this video please press like button if you have any query please ask in comments box for today's enough, we'll meet next video. Thanks for watching.